morning and hello world. This is again Alex tuning in here at ES Workout Place Studio. So guys, for today I will bring you the most talk about to news in the blockchain category. Right? So hear me out. So this news is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News, US government funding blockchain. Department of Homeland Security accepting proposals. Yay! This is a good news. The Department of Homeland Security posted a solicitation for proposals for companies that can improve government processes using the blockchain. Accepted proposals would receive up to $800,000 in government funding. The Department of Homeland Security is a U.S. federal government cabinet department. The department is responsible for U.S. public security and includes anti-terrorism, border security, cyber security, and disaster prevention efforts. On November 15th, the government published a solicitation call on behalf of the DHS. The solicitation details a call for contractors who can develop blockchain power solutions to key government problems. More specifically, the agency is primarily looking to identify proposals that can solve the following problems around government-issued certificates, <coughs> excuse me, licenses and attestations, storage and management, issuance and verification, ease of use of government credentials. According to the solicitation, the DHS, uh, DHS believes that blockchain and distributed ledgers have the potential to improve government processes and positively impact U.S. citizens, as stated in the document. Blockchain and distributed ledger technology, from a government perspective, holds the potential for, enhan for enhanced transparency and auditing of public service operations, greater visibility into multi-party business operations, and automation of paper-based processes to improve delivery of services to organizations and citizens. The agency describes the technology as something that can potentially deliver cost-effective and innovative solutions to public security. Um, moreover, the agency is open to rolling out solutions to all of its major operational divisions, including customs and border protection, citizenship and immigration and transportation security so what's further reassuring that the dhs is interested in keeping developments in these areas accessible to the public and possibly even completely open source so all technology um, all technology development will be publicly documented um, patent free royalty free available to all and free to implement using widely available and supported programming languages. Now, contractors that are selected in the process would be eligible for up to $800,000 in funding split over four phases. Um, the DHS is looking for applicants at any stage of development and is willing to find projects from proof of concept all the way to commercialization and implementation. What this means for blockchain. Blockchain technology is ideal for government uses. Many of blockchain's properties, including public accessibility, immutability, and inherent transparency, make it perfect for record keeping. So everything from government issued deeds, birth certificates, and passport could be improved using blockchain. Given the number of different government applications, it is critical that governments internationally explore the application of technology. All right. So, um, although the United States is behind several other smaller countries, the move by the DHS, uh, DHS could be indicative of more widespread use of the technology in large governments. At the moment, none of the major governments in Europe or North America have implemented a system built to using the technology. However, there are several smaller countries, including the um, United Arab Emirates, Estonia, and Venezuela, that are pioneering large-scale 
use cases. So the, the move provides further validation that blockchain is valuable outside of cryptocurrency. If major governments are willing to invest money into developing the technology, then that conveys the technology is more than just hype. The deadline for the first round of proposals closes at January 11, 2019. Tencent Games, um, yes, okay, that's January 11, 2019. All right, so guys, that's it for today's news. The um, government funding blockchain, Department of Homeland Security, accepting proposals so this is really a good news that's why it's the most talked about and um popular topic all right so guys please visit preferredcurrency.news for more updates and please subscribe so that you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates by subscribing um yes you will be receiving a newsletter okay you will be receiving newsletter every day um via email 12 hours before we post some videos here on youtube now you can use your preferred method you can use your paypal for a monthly recurring that's for only 15 dollars per month yet or you can use the coinbase option for 180 dollars annual subscription that's to be paid with your favorite crypto so guys when you subscribe you can be one of our affiliates okay um just click this link right here and it will take you to the page where you can see the instructions on how to become one all right so guys let me show you what is the newsletter that you will be receiving so this is the newsletter that we will be sending or notifying every subscribers of preferred currency news so on the newsletter the news and current articles of the day is available right here and guys on this newsletter there are also a lot of websites that is available for you to check okay and <clears throat> most importantly the donald's research list is also part of the newsletter donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet only here at preferred currency news now let me show you what's donald um the research list donald's research list okay here this is the Donald's research list. It's a complete list of tokens and coins and the, their status. And that's updated, being updated every day by Donald himself. So um, I assure that it's reliable, right? And Donald is making our lives easier and more convenient. It's design as a spreadsheet i think because the spreadsheet is very easy to use and very easy to understand now here maybe you're asking what are the colors where did they um it's not a range all right so red have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow are fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so when you subscribe to preferred currency news you can have the newsletter and you can have a copy of the dollars research list and that's every day so the advantage you can you know you can compare the statuses of your favorite coins and tokens each and every day right so it's really easy guys to understand for example let me show you bitcoin Bitcoin's recent price as of November 20, 2018, it's 5,177.79988667. Share of total market volume is 0 0.31724679. Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 44%. It's crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Um, number of positive technical indicators, four. 5.24 for 24 hours volume versus price. 7 days volume versus price, it's 2.78 and 30 days volume versus price, it's 3.61 and percent issued, it's 82.78 percent. Alright, but guys, just to remind you, um, this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Uh, we highly recommend that you make your own research for each one and then you can decide after. Alright, now next. If you are looking for something, all right, if you're looking for some, ooh, where is that? You can just simply click Control F and then type down. For example, down there. Here. 
So Dav is also um, showing the best news because it's colored blue. Now, recent price of Dav is 0 0.00486192. Um, share total market volume, it's 0 0.00001120. 0% for Google searches. It's crossing down 50. All right. Now, number of positive technical indicators, 5. Good. 24 hours volume versus price, it's 35.04. 7 days weekly volume versus price, 0. 30 days volume versus price, it's 15.34. And percent issued, it's 32.94%. All right, so guys, that's easy to access, that's easy to use, and you don't need to research or spend more time in researching so that you can know the articles of the day and the status of your tokens or coins. So it's all in here. In one newsletter, you can have it all, all right? So guys, that has been the, um, the update for today. Thank you so much for um, allowing me to be part of your routine or be part of your day so thank you this has been alex saying goodbye take care